All right, what is up everyone? Here we are, another day in paradise. Torrential downpour out here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can probably hear it. It's pouring out, boys. But uh, the rain doesn't stop the dream. Sometimes it does, but not today. All right, over here at the shop, uh, getting ready to do a clean out, a trash out, a foreclosure property over in Corbin City. I'm about to check out <clears throat> the address right now because I don't have, I have a smartphone, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi. It's just literally, well, it has Wi-Fi. It doesn't have data. It's just literally only when I'm at here, my mom's house, anywhere like Starbucks, I can get into it. But my phone's actually that little old school phone. So I got to get the directions first, take a picture of them, and then... And then, you know, make sure I know where I'm going. So it's raining out, but it's slowing down. But I got my, my rain jacket, which is not really water. It's water resistant, but it, it gets wet over time. I got a light, because you always need a light for these. There's literally never electricity in these clean outs. So I got the baby doll light. And I'm going to pick up a pair of gloves on the way. Because from the pictures, I never went to this property before. But from the pictures, it looked uh, super dirty, super gnarly. And there's like a mattress on the floor. So, looked like someone was just literally just squatting in there. So, full squatter operation. It's only 14 minutes from where I am. So, I'm going to... I'm going to... Definitely just, just roll out from Ocean City and go that way instead of going through Summers Point because it's over. It's in Atlantic County, but it's literally you go through all of Cape May County and you go over one little bridge and you're in Atlantic County. It's really weird, but it takes you to the right spot. So here it is. So I'm here in Ocean City and Corbin City is over here. So I got to go. Ch -ch Parkway, get off of Marmora, go Route 50. <coughs> Pretty much back where, back where I was with Brother Murph when he had his slippers on. So yeah, we're gonna go do this trash out today, and I'll show you guys the whole process. So please just come along with me and check it out. About to hook up to the dump trousy because um, you can't really do clean outs without this baby. Which is pretty much a waste of your time, I claim. Just got a little breakfast burrito and a cup of coffee from Wawa. Um, kind of a waste of money, but I needed to get something to eat before I start the day off because I'm going to be working pretty heavily today and I don't want to have to eat really like a full meal midway between because my hands and everything on me is going to be filthy dirty because these houses ain't no joke with dirt especially this one some are clean but um yeah that's the claim and look how good this little guy looks anyway to begin with a little breakfast burrito, boys. Wawa stepped the game up. Like, they never had these back in the day. They just started doing it, like, last year. So, living the dream, boys. So, we got to go. We're getting on the parkway for a minute. Then we're going to Marmora. So, literally, the car in front of me is the guy, the kid who bought T-Word's old car. I can still see the nub sticker, the Spectrum sticker, everything. So, T shout out to T-Ward, his old wet, we're about to pass it. Phew! They just redid all this, like, this little bridge here, but I think pass over this bridge and we're in Corbin City, I'm pretty sure. 
So it's like Cape May County on this side, Atlantic County on this side. So it's like uh, that bridge is the crossover point on this this part of the of South Jersey. So yeah, we just hit Corbin City. It's a small, small little city in Atlantic County. Pretty crazy. It's like stuck in time. Pretty much the Twilight Zone, I would claim. Like they got like, like one bar, you know, like gas station that's like from a movie, like heavy claims. But uh, if we pass anything Twilight Zone-y, I'll show you guys what I mean. Like this is the gas station that Twilight Zone-y did. They sell gas, they repair cars, it's a convenience store, they sell ice cream. Like it's a one-stop shop up in there. All right, we showed up to the property and I forgot he never gave me the lockbox code. So, I need to, I think, uh, it's probably the same as the other ones. But uh, here we are. Nice little house, new-ish. Entering. Hello? It smells like shit in here. There's not much in here. Trash. Um, I guess I'll just do a full walk through here. The inside of the house. Big ass fucking like dresser. Um, just some trash in here. Nothing much in here. Scale. I'm pissed in that toilet though. Water's obviously off. Bottle of blackberry flavored brandy. It's foul, to say the least. Um, an exercise headband. A few hangers. A couple weights. Definitely a dog in here. Um, so here we go. We're walking through. I already. I already. So this house pretty much, I priced it at around $700 in my head when just looking at the pictures. But I, um, if it was above six, the bank said that they would need two different companies to do estimates. If I did it for six or less, they said I could just roll in and do it. So. I just said, all right, I'll do it, you know, for six. There's not much in here. I'm claiming like the dump load might be like 150. So just my labor for the day is the rest of that 600. So I'm fine with that. Like, just guarantee I'm gonna back my truck up here too. See this? Back my back the trailer up and just throw all this shit out of here. But yeah, uh, that's the claim. So I did it for a little bit cheaper than I wanted to, just because then I wouldn't have to bid against anyone. So there's a lot of shit in here, in here, but really not that crazy. Some keepable, some keep life. I could like, I feel like I could donate some of this food maybe to like a soup kitchen or something. 
I'm not really sure. Johnson's General Store. Yeah, it's pretty cool actually. Like this is all good for the flea market this weekend. All that stuff. But uh, flea market life for sure. All right, so I gotta check out the shed and then I gotta come back after I did this filming and do all pictures of everything before and then after. But I'm gonna, um, gonna go in the back, check out the shed. So the backyard's nice as shit. Super nice back here, honestly. Little burn pit there, I guess is what he was claiming. Um, no key to the shed. Car battery. There's some scrap right here. Something like this is kind of nice. Like, this is definitely cool. This top piece here. Yeah, this dresser's so nice. I'm into this. This is like yard sale material. Brand new lampshade. All the stuff on this rack's keep life for me. Ugh. Fuck. This guy's got suit jackets and shit. This guy's got just shit for days. But yeah, like this this rack right here is like tools and shit. This is definitely keep life. All different tools. I mean there's trash in it, mixed in it. There's definitely keep life too. All right, so I started to take the approach of just literally throwing shit out the window. This guy's pillows are foul. Just into the fucking the trailer from up top. Um, that can of spray paint, that's keep life. Unopened CDs, keep life. Polaroid of an ostrich, keep life. These, some of this is good, but uh, this blanket, just gonna wrap up some shit in it. Just throw that down. And then he's got a couch cushion for a, a bed. That's definitely not keep life. We're working to consolidate this operation. Um, all this stuff's brand new. Like, literally everything. A1 steak sauce. Fucking mustard. Fucking craft steak sauce. Oil. Cooking oil. Relish. Tabasco sauce, more fucking peat sauce. All this is brand new. Can't really throw that out, that would just be brutal. But this guy had, well here's a nice table for the flea market for the boy. All right, I just pulled this, There's something in it. I just pulled this case out of the corner of that room in there. Uh, this is like somewhere you'd hide something fucked up. Uh, nothing fucked up. 
just his personal belongings. He, medieval times, dude, like from fucking the cable guy. That's crazy shit. No way. Packing my suitcase. All right, we got something, boys. No matter what condition they are in, the boys never throw out jumpers. So this is a Carhartt, maybe probably a woman's jumpsuit. It's pretty small, unless the guy was small, which easily could be the fact. But jumpers are keep life. Full burn, stunts, work, pretty much for everything. Jump for life. Alright, so I gotta break this thing up. If I had another boy with me, I wouldn't I wouldn't bother breaking it, but I can't I don't wanna have to take it down alone. All this stuff's brand new, but it's literally all past the expiration date. Can't even give it away. So like, I just can't be fucking even dealing with it. Checking out the scene up above here. Whatever the fuck this is, it's probably like a fucking five dollar item for sure. All right, everything's cleared out in here, in here, up there. There's stuff right there. There's some stuff that's actually vents they stay, but uh, he said just. Just cut the shed open and go check it out because he doesn't have the key to the to the shed. So I gotta zoop, zoop. and then we'll see. There's a bigger ladder. Whoa, bigger ladder um, to get up in that in that little crawl space. If there's a lot in this shed, though. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Cause this shed wasn't really even in the bed from what I could tell. See what we're working with in here. No fucking way. This is so heavy. Well, actually not that crazy. Still a lot of shit though, dude. Too much shit, I have to, I'm happy they have these big wide gates. So I'm gonna back the trailer up so I can just throw everything in. This is how we roll backed up to the shed. Got to load it. These are the full blown score. 
these old diner jukeboxes. Best thing I got all day. The armoire ended up coming apart. I was gonna give it to my new friend, Melissa, who, who sells trash and stuff like this, but I didn't really wanna burden her with it. Considering this is what it looked like. Uh, I didn't see that in the beginning, but it has a lot of water damage. And honestly, taking it out of there by myself, because they're not done work till six at least, uh, I, w I wouldn't be able to do it. So, trash life, but I'm still gonna leave a ton of stuff for her and her husband to, uh, to get out front. And whatever they don't take, they can just put to the curb. But I'm gonna leave a bunch of furniture and stuff for them. Keep life. So this is why it was so fucked. You just let his dogs or cats piss all behind it. He didn't even clean it up. So, just got fucking ruined. It's not keep life, I thought it was. Alright, so this is the mayhem that we're uncovering from the shed. We got a tradesman saw, a grinder, scrap, a bunch of scrap, cast iron pot. We got mad tarps. We got some, a little bit of scrap here. Maybe keepable if the key works for the, any of them. Little length of copper wire, not much. Uh, Pretty much emptied that. We got an American flag back there that could be used for a skit. Some oil. If it's my shit, it's my shit. I'm about to just put it in my truck. I don't think oil expires. So, um, we got a, a freezer here. If it works, it's keep life. Uh, a couple, a couple trash pieces back here. This corner smells weird. We're just dragging this mayhem out. Just gonna throw all that in the dumpster, in the tra in the in the trailer. All this shit. But yeah, we're just moving along, just trucking along here, getting this clean out. You know, going. Might not, probably not gonna make it to the dump today before four because this is a lot of work. But I'm fine with that. I think that it's better to do the right job than to rush the job. That's what I always say. All right, back here wasn't even in the pictures either, but I have to clean it up. It's all scrap, I mean this table, but I can break that apart, I'm, a, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, let's, let's make this claim here. All right, definitely not, definitely not making it to the dump today, but that's fine because I'm gonna make extra money by being patient and doing it the right way. I got this freezer. And that's not going to make me extra money, but I'm taking it. I'm going to give it to my boy Dickie. He hooks me up all the time, and he's he's one of my good friends, so he deserves to get something if if I see something he would want. And that can easily be used for just keeping fish in. I got an American flag. Keep life. You can't throw out American flags. Probably keep life. This. If not, I'm going to put it out for for Melissa, and if they don't want it, they can put it out to the curb. Keep life, keep life. The tools, all the scrap is keep life because I can make money off that. Obviously metal, metal, metal. Keep life in this. Old, super old, solid wooden dresser. A uh, piece of marble goes here and it has two drawers. It's pretty much complete. There's a few, few nicks out of it, but I think I can get anywhere from 50 to $100. All this scrap life. This piece of wood's actually really nice. If I don't use it, I can burn it. And uh, I got Keep Life, the uh, the diner. What do you even call this thing? 
jukebox, diner jukebox. This is the tile from the, the thing. All that stuff's yard sale stuff. These things are keep life pretty good. Um, I wanted to show you guys the keep life in here. Some weed whacker string, a couple magnets. Uh, one of these little things. A lot of this stuff's trash too. But some tools. And like a, a bathtub type of thing. Uh, these are brass, I think. Or copper. Scrap or keep. Uh, all this shit. Those are good. So a lot, this is spray paint. I always keep spray paint. These clamps come in handy for screen printing, or actually for the green screen with Robbie. Uh, there's little nails, little rollers. These guys are going out. All these little things, you never know when you're going to need stuff like this. So I'm just throwing that off to the side. And that shit for now. This is scrap. I don't know what that is. This is trash now. And we're gonna pour out this for the homies. They can't be here. The dream is real. All right, we're loaded. Keep life and scrap in the back, in the back of the truck. And we got all the trash in the trailer. Stocked up for the day. We're out of here, boys. You. All right, back at my house, back at the shop now. Um, I still got the trailer in the back full of shit. I gotta take that to the dump in the morning. I got a bunch of keep life in the truck and in here I brought some stuff in that couldn't get wet. Um, the freezer, the dresser, that box of stuff. There was two more boxes similar to that that I left for Melissa and her husband. Hopefully they keep the stuff and sell it and make some money, I hope, or they can just put it to the curb because the Corbin City will take stuff to an extent. I put a lot out there before. But uh, pretty much yeah, if you like what you saw today in my vlog, in my life, in the foreclosure business, cleaning them out and filming it and getting it going, just please subscribe if you haven't already. If you got any comments, questions, anything to say, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, if, you, if you liked watching the video, just hit the thumbs up button, you know, like and there's some more keep life from today actually we're gonna test this thing out see if it works <laughs> it works it works full keep life boys full keep life I actually literally had this plugged in for like the last hour since I got back but I didn't want to test it uh, without the camera so fully works. I'm assuming the saw works, if that works. And yeah, we're keep life and shit, boys. We're keep life and everything. That's the problem. So the drawer's back here, filled to the brim. We got some more keep the table for the flea market. We got some keep life here. These things are cool. Christmas tree stand. Some cast iron scrap life. And this is smells weird. It smells like tomato sauce. They had like 65 things of tomato fucking sauce in there. It was crazy. All expired too, but brand new. But um, yeah, that's it. End in the video. I got nothing else that I'm going to be filming today unless I do, then it'll just be in the end of the video. But yeah, I'm still pushing the channel to 10,000. That's my goal. That's the next la big landmark for me. Um, you know, it's really weird. I've been doing videos a long time, like my whole life pretty much, and we did a lot of stunts and we were very successful in that aspect of YouTube and everything, but I always struggled on my own channel until I started filming my actual true life. I always tried to like, I always tried to like play a character, or play into a part that wasn't actually me, and I would never get views and I would never get subscribers. 
and I always tried to be something else that I thought other people would want to watch. But literally when I started actually being myself and filming my actual life, that's when I started to get a lot of views and a lot more views, I wouldn't say a lot of views, and a lot more respect and a lot of more subscribers and they're growing every day. And I think it's just like the old argument like just be yourself and people will like you better just proves through on video too. Cause like I just gave up caring what anyone thought at this point and I just literally put my whole life on, on blast. So like all the negative comments, which aren't that many honestly, they've been dwindling because I've been talking shit on the, the haters. But um, all the negative comments are kind of just like, or just like nitpicking comments are kind of just like, well dude, I can cut it out if I want. I'm in control of the edit. I leave it in because that's real. That's my real life. You know, when I make a mistake, I fuck something up. Or, you know, I just, I do something crazy. I just leave it. I leave it in there. So, if you like the real me, just keep watching because I'm just going to get more, more real with it every day. But uh, truly blessed and truly happy to, to continue this existence and this YouTube thing has been really healthy for me. So, I'm going to keep doing it. Let's, let's keep doing it for the boys, for the girls. You!